Meanwhile, in what is being seen as the fallout of Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin's aborted mutiny, a media outlet owned by the mercenary group has now been shut down. A top official from the group called the, the media outlet to make the announcement, but stopped short of giving a reason. More details in our next report. Take a look. Russian news outlets are reporting that a social media troll factory owned by Yevgeny Prigozhin, the Russian mercenary leader, used to allegedly influence public opinion in the United States and other countries, has been disbanded following the stunning mutiny by Prigozhin and his Wagner Group fighters in Russia last month. The Commercent, a Russian newspaper, is also reporting that the government's communications watchdog is blocking media outlets linked to Prigozhin without elaborating. On Saturday, Reuters cameras spotted Wagner logos being removed from its corporate offices in St. Petersburg. The building was raided by authorities during the mutiny. It was opened only last year and dubbed a military technology center. The U.S. government and European Union have long accused Prigozhin of funding an organization known as the Internet Research Agency, which Washington says is a troll farm that tried to meddle in the 2016 presidential election. Prigozhin himself has previously admitted to interfering in U.S. elections and that he founded and financed the organization, although the Kremlin has always denied any interference. Separately, a media holding group owned by Prigozhin is said to have been shut down, according to the director of one of the news sites under its umbrella. It gave no reason for the move. The group, called Patriot Media, had a strong nationalist and pro-Kremlin stance and also provided positive coverage of Prigozhin and his mercenaries.